and our mix her make loaf like this, and this is the way I've always done it. Mmm. Hey guys, hey guys. Today I am first going to fix my little gap there in my hair. <laughs> Today I am trying to um, can some grape jelly for the first time. So I don't know how long this video will be, but I hope y'all stick in there with me and. See what all goes wrong, because I'm sure something will go wrong, but we're going to try our hand at this. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some um, some um, jelly jars here is what I call them. They're 12 half pint, 8 ounce jars. I'm going to take and um, boil my jars to get them all clean. And I'll take my lids and stuff and put them in this little feller. And, uh... Boil them. My understanding, you don't have to uh, boil the rings anymore, but I'm going to anyway. Better be safe than sorry. Now, um, I'm going to put some water in this, put my jars in there, and boil them. Wait till it comes to the boil and boil the jars for about 10 minutes. And after I do that, I'll bring them back for the next step. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got all my jars. Uh, I boiled them for 10 minutes. I didn't, I boiled my rim, my lids, I just warmed them up, just, I'm warm. I put my oven at the lowest setting, and, um, after I got all my jars out, I put them on the baking sheet and put them in the oven to keep them warm, because I didn't know how slow that I would be. I'm slow with this, so I didn't want my jars to, um, not be warm, so I put them in the oven to keep them warm. So I got Big Bertha out here, I'm going to use her for this process. I've got measured out um, seven cups of Con Concord grape juice, seven cups, I'll show you what it looks like, this is what I'm using, it's a Welch's 100% grape juice, no sugar added, so I've got seven cups in here, and I've got measured out I'm going by the instructions on the packet. I've got seven cups of sugar. Yeah, seven cups. I wanted to um, lower the amount of sugar, and but it said if you've done that, you, that your jelly might not set up. So I don't want to take no chances on that. So I've got seven cups in there. I'm going to wait till that gets a little warm, and then I'll be adding two boxes of uh, Sure Gel. I'm using the original Sure Gel. So, when this comes up to a bowl, we'll let you see what it looks like. Okay, guys, I got you up high in the sky so you can see what I'm doing and what I'm probably messing up, no doubt. But I got the juices going, and I'm getting ready to put in the, the two packets of pectin. I'm just going to throw it around like that. That's probably not the proper way to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it. This is what I'm using. I don't know if I showed you. Sure gel. Got two boxes of that. Big Bertha, this big cooker here, was the only thing that I felt comfortable in doing this in. You probably can't even see it for all that steam. So I'm going to let that go right there. Until it starts coming to a rolling boil. But I'm also going to put in a tablespoon of butter, and that will keep it from foaming. For having that little layer of foam on top. I don't like that foam stuff that, that it looks like it gets if you don't put the butter in. So I'm putting the butter in. I don't know how this is going to turn out, guys, but I've got to give it a shot at some point. I've got... um. A garden full of stuff that should be coming in here this week that I have to um, can up. I got some 
some cabbage for us. I'm going to can up some sauerkraut. I got some cucumbers. I'm going to can up some pickles. And then I, I'll have a bunch of maters that I'm going to do some tomato sauce, tomato juice, that kind of stuff. So, should be pretty busy in the kitchen this week. But I want to do this jelly for the first thing. And if it turns out right, then I'll feel comfortable doing the other stuff. But if it don't turn out right, then I won't feel comfortable doing the other stuff. I'll just have to get somebody else to can it for me. Um... My sister-in-law, she's got a garden coming in too, and um, she bought uh, one of those ball canning books, and she got me one too, and I love it. I've been reading on it. It's the new updated one, so. All right, guys, it's come to a rolling bowl. Okay guys, I got it to a rolling bowl. Now I'm gonna pour in the seven cups of sugar. And I'm gonna pour it in slowly. A lot of sugar. Just keep stirring this and stirring this and stirring this until it comes back up to a rolling boil. And after it comes to a rolling boil, I'll set the timer for one minute and let it boil for one minute like that. And we'll be ready to throw them in the jars and cross our fingers and hope it turns out. <laughs> hey guys, as you can see, it's come to a boil. And I'm going to set my timer for one minute. Coming to a rolling bowl that you can't steer away. That's what it's supposed to do. See that? I'm gonna steer it for one minute and then we'll start jarring it up. This ain't a bent as hard as I thought it would be. I've been dreading this and dreading this because I'm afraid I mess it up. But still don't know yet if it's gonna be right or not. We just have to wait and see. One thing about it, if it, if it don't turn out right, I got enough ingredients left over that I can do it again. Got 20 seconds left. I got this old ladle that I sterilized in hot boiling water. This was my mom's. And um, I love it. I don't know why, I just love it. Oh, timey, timey. So I went to timer. Now I can shut this off. I don't know if y'all can see me over here or not. I need to slide that back there a little bit where you can see me. get burned up on this stuff. Burst that over here where right up. Just leave a half inch head space. water ain't that hot so I have to pick them up. I thought I had one of those little magnet things that you pick it up with but I don't. 
But I gotta clean the rims. I almost forgot. Got to clean the rims. I'm gonna give me some of the hot water out of this bucket. Hot stir water. Ow! It's hot. I'm so slow that I'm afraid that the, that it'll uh, harden up before I even get a chance to do anything. That's the reason I put the things in the oven because I'm too slow. Got that one. I'll tighten it up just a little bit tighter. Now this one. Getting the right rims. Okay. Just a tad more now. Not the rims. Okay, guys, that's how it's looking right there. Get the rest of these jarred up and bring them back. Hey guys, I got them in Bertha. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't got a water bath canner. I've got these two big buckets here. I've got two of these. I'm gonna put that lid on there so it'll start getting hot. I've got two of them, but I ain't got nothing to put in the bottom of them. See? got this one too but and I bought this thing here at a yard sale for a dollar and it won't fit that would have been perfect I mean why didn't I put it in the bottom of this that would have worked but I've got a rubber thing on under there that came with uh, this kit there was a, a rubber mat a round rubber mat that I put in the bottom and I set the jars on top of that rubber mat. So hopefully that'll work. I tried to find a water bath canner at Walmart and they're sold out so I'll have to get one the next time. Now I gotta wait till this comes up to a boil and then after a boil, after it starts boiling, I gotta set the timer for 10 or 15 minutes I gotta go look and see. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm where you see all that steam or not. I'm doing some other stuff here. I'm getting ready to fix a big batch of potato salad with barbecue chicken and corn on the cob probably. But there's my book that I was talking about that sister-in-law ordered for me. And there's the jelly. This one is already pinged. I've been hearing them pinged, so that must be sealing. That's it guys. Until next time, I hope it's Turns out I'm going to leave them there and set them there for about a week and then open them up next week and see what they look like. So I hope it turns out good. Thank you all for stopping by and um, hanging out with me. And until next time, please subscribe and like. And I'll talk to you later.